Hi guys, as promised, welcome to my certificate vlog. I just woke up, actually to a surprise, like I'll be woke up, wake up, wake up, there is something. Uh, my friend came to say happy birthday. So we're gonna celebrate a bit now. I mean, I really like surprises, if you don't know about this. This about me, surprises is my favorite thing in my life. Okay, let's start. Guys, uh, one more friend came to tell her happy birthday. Thank you so much. <laughs> Look what? at this beautiful balloons. Let me see this here. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. What is this? Silly faces. <laughs> so we're celebrating a little bit with the cake and it's just beautiful. I couldn't uh, want a better birthday because it's really like nice atmosphere at home. <laughs> Friends coming, just, you know, attention Friends close. Friends coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mama. just I just want to keep these memories. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Mama. Happy birthday to you. Hey. Happy birthday. I made a wish. Awesome wish. Awesome. So guys, the birthday continues and I decided I want to play golf a bit. We I mean, not really play, we're gonna go to driving range and practice a little bit, but it's something fun for me to do and uh, I want to do it today on my birthday. We're going, and we're actually going to a new place. And uh, there is driving range at uh, Marina Keppel Bay, or how it's called? No, Keppel Bay, just Keppel Bay, right? Keppel Bay. Keppel Bay. Uh, supposedly it's a very beautiful golf course also and nice, but I think there you have to be a member to play there, but driving range anybody can come, you just pay and enter. So let's have a look. There it is, Alessia. How are you feeling, baby? Perfect. Perfect birthday, I must say. Oh, oh nice. Shot. <laughs> Very good. I'm glad it's on the video. <laughs> it didn't happen so <laughs> Hi guys, so Hello. the main part of the birthday is gonna be happening now. We're going to the restaurant. I wanted to go to this restaurant for one year, right? About. Yeah, I was talking to Alvaro, just, you know, giving small comments and big comments. <laughs> it would be nice to go here. Basically, it's a, um, this restaurant was ranked in top, uh, best uh, Asia's uh, restaurant, I don't know, number 10 or five or three even. Plus it has three Michelin stars. It's a French restaurant called Odette. We've heard so many good things, amazing. It is pricey for us, but I think it's gonna be really worth it. It's gonna be really amazing experience. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, we'll show you. Yeah, let's go, let's have a look. <laughs> So these were all compliments from the chef and the next dish as well. Here we had the mushroom dish and it was in a little plate shaped as a mushroom. And actually every dish was served in a specially developed uh, plate that would suit and complement that dish. This one just blew my mind. It was scallop with dill and horseradish snow. Look at it. Alvaro almost cried because he brought a bottle of Portuguese no, no, wine. Portuguese. He misses his country a lot. <laughs> Finish with pot consomme. Finish with pot having a barbecue kinky, like a Japanese rock fish, and we grow over the beach and... <laughs> Good question. I'm always curious. For you, the chicken, which is the poulard de bresse. Poulard de bresse coming from France. We flavor off um, with a little velouté as well on the left. 
Guys, now we're at the kitchen. This is such an amazing restaurant. I watched the YouTube uh, interview with the chef and the staff, and they were so cheerful and friendly. And they are exactly the way, the same way in real life. They let us come here. They're telling us all about it. Albert is telling how he almost cried with, with one of the dishes. <laughs> This was a dish that almost made Alvaro cry. He even tried to find out the recipe and they were so kind to even tell us how they did it. But you know, there is a reason why they charge so much because it's almost impossible to repeat any of that at home without um, proper skills and very advanced equipment. But it was very tasty. Basically, we use eggs from Oita, which Oita is a region in Japan. Uh, which is well known because of the dense egg yolks and the tender egg whites. Ah. You got the egg, right in, which I put right inside the middle, which is steamed for 55 minutes at 63 degrees. I put it right inside the middle. And put on the chauvignon, so this will be more dense and choppy. What right? is the softest, the softest one? The creamy one. Yeah. We have a more taste of food over there. particular rose. Um, it's a flavor of my childhood. My grandmother used to do jam. Really? My grandmother used to do jam made of this type of rose. I forgot. I, I, will, I will Google and I will tell the... It's like a bush that has like tiny roses. It's amazing. We ate, we ate in K... Uh, when we went to, K, uh, to, to dinner in K house, Nadir was ordering ice cream. This ice cream. Mm. It's amazing. It, it's really, it's my, it, it couldn't get better and then it got better. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> and we still have something, something, a few things more. Mm. Happy? Um, there's no words. <laughs> I'm so happy. It's, uh, it's really an experience that you remember all your life. Amazing food, lovely people. Everything is perfect. Good, co good company. My uh, lovely husband. <laughs> it's me, me. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it was wonderful. It was fantastic. I, have, I would. It wouldn't be too much to say fantastic. I love you. Love you. So good. So guys, it was a fantastic experience. We loved it so much. The food, the service. It's such a... Uh, stuff. A rich experience. Yeah, it and was... People are so cheerful. I don't know, it was just really fun. Food also, was phenomenal. food, I, it's just no comments. You can't describe it. I almost cried at one point. Yeah, he had over one, had one dish that he was like, I'm gonna cry, having, I'm having so much pleasure. <laughs> it's, uh, it was amazing, yeah. I, uh, we can't do these things often, but we will definitely try to repeat or go to another three star Michelin restaurant whenever we can maybe for another birthday or something it's just yeah once in a while it's just really amazing it gives you such a amazing feelings and now we're in at night in a museum yeah, how yeah. cool is that <laughs> now you can see that we're still in the main um, building when you can see all the columns it's so beautiful it's like 11, 11 at night uh, being in museum it's so special feeling uh, but about the restaurant, yeah, like, I, I don't know, I, I don't have words to describe it. Fantastic, fantastic. It's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. By the way, there is this myth circulating, sometimes you hear from people, oh, if you go to Michelin restaurant, these portions are so tiny, you go home hungry. 
it's not so, true. So. so it's basically the second time we go to a three-star Michelin restaurant. I didn't post the video. I don't know, tell me if you would be curious. I still have videos. Last year for my birthday, we went to Les Amis because there are two uh, restaurants in Singapore with three Michelin stars. So last year we went to one and this year to another one. Anyways, both times we left full. I, I had to, so I have a wrap dress and <laughs> I had to kind of make it more loose. Uh, to just be able to breathe because I ate so much really that it's very generous That's for sure. You will never leave Basically what you see on the menu like eight first of all three four dishes because they always give you extras and compliments and But even what's on the menu. It's already more than enough if you take a tasting set and uh, Yeah that's it. <laughs> so, so this was my birthday, guys, and uh, it was just calm and nice. And you know, we, I saw a couple of friends and just spent time with my husband. It's really not the time to make big parties. It's also not allowed. I mean, okay, you can do five days, uh, one day with fi with five people, another day with five people. I don't know. I didn't want to do that. It's just not the right moment, I think, to make parties. But I really enjoyed my birthday. I turned 35. I feel happy and grateful. For everything I have, and looking forward to next, to next 35. <laughs> Thank you for watching us. Bye. 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 bye.